OK, let's look at good practice in using a WordPress site. First thing to do is change what it looks like. Um, so I'm just going to revisit swindonchurch.com where my default WordPress installation is. OK, now bottom right of the page you'll find a login. Let's click on that. Uh, now this is the login info here is that stuff that I specified when um, I set up the WordPress site using Fantastical Deluxe um, via my host. So I'm just going to log in using my details. Okay, this is the main thing uh, that runs your WordPress site. So I've clicked on Write a New Post um, just to show you how how to basically update information. I'm just going to do a very a very kind of brief guide on how to add info to your WordPress site. Um, so there's two different types of things you can have a post and a page so I'm gonna write a post here a post is like a news item um, it's what people use for blogging so I've just written whatever and I'm gonna hit publish um, so I've just written a post let's write a page as well while I'm here so write page um, and once I've published this I'll show you the website so you can see what uh, what's happened when I've added one of each. And the key thing to do with uh, with WordPress is to just uh, experiment. Uh, try pressing all the buttons and see what they all do. Um, you can't really damage it, um, so it's worth just having a click around and, and click on manage and design and things like that. Um, so there we go, that's my first post um, that I just added and if we go down, the list of pages is here, so I've added that page, so contact information is an arbitrary page I made up your contact info. Okay, so the difference is that the home page adds, includes the post in sort of date order, um, whereas a, the pages are uh, sort of standing information like contact info. So I'm just going to, I'm a bit bored with the theme of it, so I'm just going to um, click on design there, and you can see these two default themes, the classic and default. Now if we go to uh, FileZilla, which we saw earlier, um, and just uh, log into your server and look at public HTML is the folder that we're interested in. Okay, so if we hit refresh in FileZilla, which is those arrows, there we go. Okay, all those folders are the things that run WordPress. Uh, all these files, there's thousands of files in them. So I've gone into uh, WP content and then themes. Now there's two themes here, classic and default. So let's look back at them. There we go, WordPress classic and WordPress default. So those are the two themes currently installed. Now what I'm going to do on the left is browse on the memory stick to the WordPress template that um, I've built, um, which is just a kind of, I've just edited an open source template to make something look like basically what I want. Um, so I just drag that across theme files. And you can get these themes online, just, um, just Google WordPress themes and uh, find a theme that suits you. Um, don't leave WordPress default because it's very boring. So I'll hit refresh now that I've uploaded my theme. There we go, Diocese of Bristol. Let's click on that and activate it. Click. Okay, so that's my current theme. So if I go to the website now, there's a default. Looking very boring. If I hit refresh. Okay, there we go. So that's, that's the theme that I've put together. Um, you can't really see it in this very small win uh, video window, but um, you can see that it's a slightly better looking than and, uh, than the the default. And I've got rid of a lot of information as well, so um, I've kind of simplified the the WordPress theme that was uh, that was a default. So there's my first post, um, and my pages are added along the top. So you can see about and contact information are added along the top there. So let's just shrink this window down a bit. Um, one thing I will n mention is that the um, the header image you'll need to change that. Um, any file uh, to do with the template are inside the theme files folder. So let's have a look inside. So this is the local one, theme files images. So in here, theme files images. Let's do the same remote. Okay, theme files images. Let's have a look. All these images are things that are used by the theme, used by the, the thing that makes the, your WordPress template look as it does. So stripes.jpg is, is the background, header.jpg is, um, is that sort of banner at the top. So anything you swap in will need to be the same format, it'll need to be called the same thing, um, and it'll need to be the same size as well. So replace if you replace uh, stripes.jpg, you'll have a different color background. Um, if you replace header.jpg, let's have a look at it. Uh, if you replace that with your own logo, your own photo, whatever, um, you just need to make sure it's the same size and it's a JPEG and it's also called header.jpg. 
Now, if those things are all true, all you need to do is, is FTP it across, as we did with um, you know, moving the theme across. So very simple. Good luck.